And um, I, I think we are ready to, to, to start. And um, this, I'd like to, first of all, welcome all of you uh, to this briefing. Um, the board uh, felt that it was important that uh, we have this briefing so that uh, we go forward together um, uh, knowing exactly what is expected of all of us as we ensure that uh, the election uh, takes place in a free, fair, transparent uh, manner. Um, Kauleni, I don't know if you'd like to, to uh, do the interpretation as I, as I go along. Now, um, please feel free to put any any message you have on the on the uh, type it on the on the chat. Uh, I want to uh, recognize the presence of the other electoral board members. Uh, we have here Patrick Onyango. Patrick is the secretary to the electoral board. We also have Alfred Mdinya. Ali Hassan Kauleni and um, Sam Karanja. And, and so we have together put, to, put this uh, presentation uh, for you so that uh, we can get a good feel of how we want to move uh, forward. Um, I had requested that Kauleni would do the interpretation as we go along. And, and, and so, Kauleni, please go ahead and uh, interject and, and, and give any interpretation you feel uh, is necessary. Okay, Chair. It's okay. Okay. Good. So, do you want to interpret what I have said so far? <laughs> oh, I was, I, was, I was joining, eh? Okay. So, maybe if we can start. If we can start. Um, okay. I just introduced all the board members and said that um, we felt it was important to have this briefing so that everyone moves together towards ensuring a free, fair, and transparent election. Uh, kwa kifupi, karibuni sana. Mwenye kitu wa board ya uchaguzi, uh, Bikinti Stikolo, amekusha kwa tambua wanachama wa board na anawakaribisha wote, tuwe pamoja, Na tatueleza ni kwa vipi uchaguzi huu yao. Send any question that you have on the chat uh, so that uh, we ensure we move quickly and without too much interruption. But at the end of the presentation, we will answers. Mwenye kiti anasema kwamba ukiangalia kukipe au maoni unayosito ukayandika hapo tukiendelea na mkutano wetu. Lakini pia baada mkutano wetu pale mwishoni kabisa kutakuwa na awamu ya nyinyi kuuliza maswali. And so starting off, um, we want to inform all of us that the register of voters is now complete. We have 508 registered voters. And these voters will come to 21 polling stations. Mwenye kiti anasema kwamba tari tumekwisha kuitumisha zoezi na usajili na tutakuwa na vituo ishimina moja vya kupigia kura na wanachama wote wanojisajili kupiga kura ni miatano na nane. Na hii register iko kwenye website ama ukipenda wavuti wa FKF. We would like as a board to provide direction with regard to the election voting procedures. And hizi, go ahead. Hizi ndizo sheria na kanuni ambazo zitatumika wakati wa uchaguzi. 
And, and these uh, procedures have been guided by the FKF Elections Code, which also conforms to the Constitution and FIFA standards. Yeah. Every election shall be by secret ballot. And to ensure that it's by secret ballot, no photographs of ballot papers will be allowed. A voter shall cast his or her vote by use of a ballot paper and can only vote in the designated polling station. Kila mpiga kura, atapiga kura kwenye kituo chake, ambacho atakuwa mejisajili, na kuna karatasi maalum ya kupigia kura utakayopewa, inaitwa ballot paper. No person shall cast more than vote. A voter will only be issued with one more ballot if they spoil the, the first one. Kila mpiga kura atarusiwa kupiga kura mara moja pekee. Pia yeyota ambaye ataharibu karatasi yake ya upigaji kura utarusiwa kurudia mara moja pekee. Now the spoiled ballot will be placed in an envelope and labeled spoiled. Kura ambayo itakuwa imeharibika itawekwa kwenye bahasha maalum na hiyo bahasha maalum ya kura ambazo zimeharibika ina jina maalum labeled spoiled kura zilizoharibika Now it's important to know that um, the register of voters is arranged per polling station and the voter register is done alphabetically the names are arranged alphabetically Ikumbuke kwamba katika kituo chetu cha upigaji kura kutakuwa na majina na majina yatakuwa yameandikwa kialfabeti kwa hiyo kama jina lako ni Ali utaanza wewe A alafu baadaye baraza atakuja baada ya Ali kwa hiyo majina yamepangwa kialfabeti Now the voting period now the opening of the polling station will be at 9 a.m. Now it's important to know that the station, uh, I mean the polling will end as soon as the last voter casts their vote. Vituo vya upigaji kura vitafunguliwa, uchaguzi utafanyika tare kuminatisa siku ya jumamosi na vituo vitafunguliwa saa tatu asubuhi. Shughuli ya upigaji kura ikimalizika kituo kinafungwa halafu tunaanza kuhesabu kura I need people to know that uh, this is a deviation from previous elections that started at 9 and ended at 5 pm because of covid we are not going to allow the polling station to just stay open we have made arrangements to ensure that voting is undertaken such that when it ends we then close the voting station mabadiliko haya yametokana na hili janga la corona kitambo tungekaa hata baada ya uchaguzi kabla ni kutokana na sheria mpya za janga la corona ni kwamba baada ya uchaguzi kila kitu kishamalizika bas tunaanza kuhesabu tunafunga upigaji kura and to talk about the ballot structure. Sasa ni kuzungumzia upigaji kura utakavyokuwa. Now the ballot paper has special features. It is color coded according to the position that uh, is being voted for. 
karatasi ya kura utakavyoiona ina rangi mbalimbali mbali, na hizi rangi zinategemea ni anayepigiwa kura Now that color also corresponds with the ballot box Na hiyo karatasi ya kupiga kura inaendana sambamba na rangi ya lile box ama sanduku la mgombeaji That paper has the name of the candidate clearly indicated has a serial number and it has a security mark Hiyo karatasi ya mpigaji kura ina namba maalum ya serial utakayoiona na namba maalum ya usalama na ya siri It has the name of the candidate and the county and the position being elected Ina nambari ya mgombeaji wadhifa anaogombea na ni kaunti gani It also has a counterfoil to ensure accountability and recording Pia kuna namba maalum ya counterfoil ambayo itatumiwa kuonesha uwazi na uwajibikaji So we will have five colors and each color will correspond to each position Tutakuwa na rangi tatu Can can you hear can you hear Ano na kila rangi inazungu Samahani, samahani. <laughs> Ali, are you? Uh, Nam, can we? Uh, yeah. Okay. Someone okay. is calling me. Pole. Okay. Now, the ballot boxes. Before voting, the ballot box must be empty and they are going to be transparent they are transparent tutaonesha uwazi kabla ya upigaji kura masanduku yetu ya uchaguzi yatakuwa wazi 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 the color comes to the color of the position and therefore the color of the ballot paper kama ilivyo kura yako ndivyo nitakapokuwa sanduku sanduku kutegemea na rangi itaendana na ni mgombeaji gani anayepigiwa kura after voting the ballot box will be sealed it will be sealed and the serial number of the seals taken baada ya upigaji kura sanduku litafungwa na kuna namba maalum inaitwa serial number itaweza kuandikwa chini Now all this is to ensure that your votes are secure Yote haya ni kuhakikisha kwamba kura zenu zote ziko katika mazingira salama and, and therefore the ballot boxes are created to ensure there is no confusion so we will vote without confusion and see what they have been na baada ya uchaguzi baada ya kuhesabu kila kitu kitafanywa kwa uwazi na masanduku ya ta na tutajua hali imekwendaje na uchaguzi umekwendaje na ni nani amechaguliwa Now there is going to be assistance for illiterate voters and this will be done by the returning officers to ensure that their vote is secure and is secret. Tutakuwa na maafisa maalum returning officers ambao watawasaidia wenzetu ambao hawajui kusoma wala kuandika. Kwa hiyo hawa maafisa tunawaita returning officers watawasaidia ili kura zao ziwe safi na tena kwa usiri 
Now, we asked all the candidates to of the agent. Now, roll. Kombeaji aliombwa kutuma ma agent wake ama mawakala wake. Je, hawa ma agent kazi yao itakuwa ni gani? The first thing is that the agent is the representative of the candidate to ensure that the process is free, fair and transparent. Kazi ku Huru na usawa. So the agent will make sure that every step that the returning subjects is verified. And that means the opening of the ballot box, you show the number of ballot papers, ensure that the names are correctly put, to ensure that the ballot paper is correct. It has the security mark, it has the correct number, it has the serial number to ensure that the counting after voting is done correctly and, and, and also announce the final tally. Kazi ya agenti ni kwa kikisha kwamba anafuatilia kwa ukaribu uchaguzi na jambo lake ni kwa kikisha kwa sanduku umefanyika vizuri na yale masanduku ya nana alama za usalama na nambari zao ya kuhakikisha kwamba uhesabu wa kura unafanyika vizuri kila kitu kimeshughulikiwa na mwisho wa siku anahakikisha kwamba zoezi zima limefanyika vizuri na wametangaza mshindi na masanduku yote yamefungwa now, the important thing about the sealing of the ballot boxes is that the agent must take note of the serial numbers of the seals. Umuhimu wa kuyafunga ya masanduku ya uchaguzi bada uchaguzi ni kuhakikisha kwamba agent anachukua ile namba ya serial ya kila sanduku. Now it's important to know that the seal should not be broken. If it is broken, then you have to replace it. You can't open it without breaking it. Yakikishe kwamba hii seal lazima itavunjwa na kukatwa kabla haijafanya kazi yake haijashughulikiwa. Now the role of the aspirant. Wajibu wa wagombeaji. Now, the aspirants will be expected to sign and keep the code of contact. Kila mkombeaji atatia sahihi mkataba wa sheria na kanuni za uchaguzi. The aspirants are expected to keep peace. They should not use inflammatory words. They should not be carrying out media interviews that are disparaging the process. They cannot use hate speech. And we must agree that we are here for the good of football in the country. Wagombeaji wote wakutia sahihi mkataba huu wa sheria za uchaguzi watakikisha kwamba kuna amani hawata tumia lugha ya uchochezi wala fitna Hawata rusiwa kuojiwa na vyombo vya habari wa kikashif na kuhujumu zoezi la uchaguzi. Hawata rusiwa kutumia lugha yenye matusi. Tunafanya hivi ili kuhakikisha kwamba mpira wetu unaendelea vizuri. Na pia hawata rusiwa kukaa ndani ya kituo cha upigaji kura. Yeah, aspirants should not be inside the hall and if they choose to be inside then they have to be silent and they are not allowed to intimidate the voters. Na kama watarusiwa kukaa ndani ya chumba kile cha uchaguzi, wanaombwa wanyamaze na wasionekane wanatishia hali yoyote ya uchaguzi. And, and next we want to talk about the COVID-19 protocols which have been developed so that they can protect the presiding officers, the returning officers, 
the voters, the polling agents, the security agents, and, and even the aspirants themselves. Sasa tutazungumzia mikakati ambayo tumeweka kukabiliana na janga la corona ili kuwalinda maafisa wote watakaosimamia uchaguzi, wapigaji kura, maagent ama mawakala watakaokuepo, watumishi wote wa usalama na watu wote ambao wataruhusiwa kuwepo kwenye kituo cha upigaji kura. So in order to uh, ensure that this place is clean the working area will be duly sanitized. It will be sanitized properly and we will test and record the temperature of everyone who is coming into the hall. And we must wear the recommended face mask. We must wash and sanitize our hands and maintain a social distance of at least at all times. Mnaomba kuzingatia yafuatayo. Eneo letu la kupigia uchaguzi litakuwa na sanitizer ama ukipenda vyeyuzi na watu watapimwa hali zao za joto kwa maana ya temperature na unaombwa wakati wote ukiwa kwenye kituo cha uchaguzi uvae mask ama ukipenda barakoa na pia uoshe mikono kwa kutumia sanitizer na unapokuwa kwenye kituo hiki cha uchaguzi tuwe na umbali wa mita moja nukta tano. Only one person will be served at a time. We must avoid handshakes or high fives and other you know, body contact. We must avoid sharing of any materials and we must stay 1.5 meters between all of us. Anarejelea mwenyekiti kusema kwamba lazima tuzingatie kanuni ya kuwa na umbali wa mita moja nukta tano. Na unapokuwa kwenye kituo hiki, epukana na kugawana kitu tochote kile ama bidhazo zote zile pale, hakuna kusalimiana kwa mikono ama kukumbatiana. Na ikumbukwe kwamba mtu mmoja atakuwa kishugulikiwa mmoja baada ya mmoja. Now, to minimize the time that uh, returning officers and polling agents are exposed, voting shall be carried out in alphabetical order, as we have said before. And it will be done in intervals of three minutes. Ili kuakikisha kwamba zoezi letu linakuenda kwa uzuri na kuona kwamba maafisa wetu wataka usimamia uchaguzi, returning na pia polling, pamoja na wewe tunakabiliana na hili janga la corona ni kwamba tutapiga kura majina yatakuwa yameandikwa kialfabeti na kila mgombeaji atapewa atashughulikiwa kwa muda wa dakika tatu. This is a very important point. Uh, aspirants please note that your voters all the voters need to be there. We will get the voters out alphabetical order you vote 3 minutes you come out the next voter goes in we are not going to sit around the whole day waiting for voters wagombeaji wote muwe makini muhakikishe kwamba wapigaji kura wenu wapo na majina yataitwa kialfabeti na tuhakikisha kwamba kila mpigaji kura anapewa dakika zake tatu ili tuzuie umati wa watu kuwa katika kituo cha kupiga kura maana baada ya dakika zako tatu ukimaliza unaondoka and the moment the last voter cast their ballot, we will close voting. And so counting will start in the presence of the candidate and the accredited polling agents. Mpigaji kura wa mwisho, akimaliza tu kupiga kura, masanduku ya tafungwa, na zoezi la kuesabu kura litaanza, na wagombeaji watakuwepo, na maagent wao ambao wameidhinishwa Now how do we identify a voter A voter is identified either by their Kenyan national ID the Kenyan passport or the Kenyan military ID It is important that the name that is on these IDs is what is in the register Namna ya kuwatambua pigaji kura 
mtendaji kura atatambulishwa kwa kutumia kitambulisho chake au pasipoti ukipenda pasi au kutumia kibali chake au baji yake ya wanajeshi hakikisha kwamba jina jinsi lilivyo kwenye sajili ya upigaji kura ndivyo lilivyo kwenye kitambulisho chako au pasipoti yako and every time a voter comes in to vote their name will be crossed out of the register kila mpigaji kura akimaliza kupiga kura jina lake linafutwa kwenye sajili yetu ya upigaji kura now we are repeating this that the voting period starts at 9 am and will end when the last voter casts their vote tunarudia hili upigaji kura siku ya jumamosi utaanza saa tatu asubuhi na utafua baada ya wapigaji wote kura kumaliza kupiga kura so, tunaanza kuhesabu now who is allowed into the polling station the election officials it's accredited media accredited polling agents accredited avas and other authorized persons ni nani atakayeruhusiwa kwenye chumba cha upigaji kura maafisa wa uchaguzi wagombeaji watiwa vyombo vya habari maenti ambao wana kibali rasmi na mtu yote yule ambaye ana kibali rasmi cha kuwepo na pia maafisa wa usalama We do not need candidates security agents at the polling station. We don't need them at all. Wagombeaji mnaombwa kwamba kwenye kituo cha upigaji kura usije na walinzi wako, usije na watu wako wa usalama hawahitajiwi kwenye chumba cha kura. The electoral board has made the necessary uh, arrangements to ensure security we don't need your security there mpigaji kura na mgombeaji unahakikishiwa kwamba tume ya uchaguzi FKF imehakikisha usalama wa kutosha kwa hiyo hatuhitaji uje na watu wako au maafisa wako wa usalama usalama umehakikishiwa kwamba utakuwepo and so the poll officials there'll be three of them the presiding officer the returning officer and the deputy returning officer Maafisa watakao usimamia uchaguzi kama mnavyoona watakuwa ni watatu kutakuwa na afisa mkuu presiding officer kisha kutakuwa na returning officer na deputy returning officer hawa ndio maafisa watatu watakao shughulika kwenye uchaguzi and it's important to know that they have been trained so they are going to do their work professionally tunawahakikishia kwamba maafisa hawa wapewa mafunzo itosha kuhakikisha kwamba shughuli nzima ya uchaguzi inafanyika kitaalam now uh, management of uh, results now the returning officer will once once the counting is done once the counting is done the returning officer will take an image of the polling station results declaration form and send it by email chief returning officer and it's the chief returning officer who will then uh, the matukio yatatangazwa katika mtindo ufuatao returning officer ambaye tumemzungumzia amepewa mafunzo ya kusimamia uchaguzi ataweza kupiga picha ya kituo hicho cha uchaguzi na kuna ile fomu ya matokeo yale ya uchaguzi atatuma kutumia barua meme ama barua pepe ukipenda email atam, atatumia afisa mkuu wa uchaguzi chief returning officer ambaye huyu naye atahakikisha kwamba fomu zile zote za uchaguzi zinawafikia wanachama wote wa tume ya uchaguzi now in case of a tie repeat elections will happen on tuesday the 22nd of september kama kutakuwa na usawa kwa mfano wagombeaji kila mmoja amepata kura 6 6 kwa hiyo wamekwenda sare basi uchaguzi wa marudio 
utafanyika siku ya Jumanne tarehe 22 and we will just go through exactly the same process we will have the ballot papers the ballot boxes and so we will just repeat what we will have done on saturday na kwenye kura ya uchaguzi itakayofanyika jumanne kama kutakuwa na marudio ni kwamba kile kitakachofanyika jumamosi ndicho kitakachofanyika tena jumanne kwenye kura ya marudio now if there are any disputes those will be resolved between 24th and 30th of September. Kama kutakuwa na malalamiki na kesi zozote zile na utata wowote ule basi malalamishi yote yatasikilizwa kuanzia tarehe 24 mpaka tarehe 30 mwezi September. And then we will publish the final results on 1st of October 2020 baada malalamishi kusikilizwa na bodi na pia uh, kukata rufaa baada hapo tutachapisha matokeo rasmi tare moja ama ukipenda tare mosi mwezi Oktoba and then so our final plea to aspirants is to ensure that the electoral conduct is uh, uh, beneficial to all of us Make sure that you adhere to the COVID-19 protocols. Make sure that you sign the code of conduct, and please know that violence will not be tolerated. Kwa hiyo sheria zote hizi za uchaguzi ni kutupa maelekezo namna uchaguzi utakapokuwa na tunaomba muhakikishe kwamba mnazingatia sheria zote za hili janga la corona ama COVID-19 na kuhakikisha kwamba sheria zote hizi zitazingatiwa na kuhakikisha kwamba hakutashuhudiwa na ufasia au fujo lolote wakati wa uchaguzi. Let's all assume in Kenya and if we care for football in Kenya we will make sure that this election goes by in, a, in, a, in an orderly manner. Sote kwa pamoja tuhakikishe kwamba tunaupenda mchezo wa soka nchini Kenya tuhakikishe kwamba sheria zote zinafuatwa na tuhakikishe kwamba uchaguzi utakuwa wa aina yake na kila mmoja ataweza kufurahia uchaguzi We can now take questions and, and answers uh, for anyone who has any Ah uh, maswali wakati wa maswali Ian 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 you have to unmute Ian So, Hello. Everyone should talk and be able to unmute themselves. Sir. Hello. Kindly unmute yourself. Kindly unmute yourself uh, and only talk when you want to present. Hello. Hello madam chair. So mute. Somebody is making a lot of noise in the background. Hello madam chair. Good afternoon. Hello madam chair. Good afternoon. Hello Edges. Hello good afternoon. Madam Chair, can you hear me? Can I proceed?
Hello, Madam Chair. A candidate uh, in the Nairobi County, that is the Nairobi branch east, right? I appreciate your, your, your together with the, with the other side. I recommend you for job now, and I wish to uh, raise a few issues. Uh, the first issue is about the secret ballot. to provide ballot for each and every county for the purpose of the issue of independency of voting so that we eradicate intimidation we enforce privacy to vote in regard to the voting and i pray that you allow us to be able to vote in a booth number two we provided our photos when we were doing the registration, voters are having links, and we pray, as far as my team is concerned, that you allow that each and every candidate's photo to appear along, alongside their names. This will help the voters easily see their, their candidate vote. The issue is about specific. Uh, certificates upon declared as winners at the polling station or the tallying center. Yori, um, but I was talked about security agents of the uh, issue is I think it's important that the board to give time Times, then a.m. and a particular hour, so that somebody should not delay them by we are waiting for them. Uh, the other issue that I will do a passport or a military ID is now. Assume someone loses his ID like on a Friday and the elections are on Saturday. Is it possible that you allow this candidate to appear with a photocopy and uh, perhaps a passport? Or, sorry. Uh, Police abstract, or assume he had presented himself to the to the register of persons. Can he come with the, with the waiting card to prove that I'm the person, but my ID got lost? I would like also you to address that issue. Uh, finally, it's my prayer that the ballot booth to be put some distance from the agents. Madam Chair, I would like also to to address the issue because we're fighting reforms, voters have always been intimidated. And I'm happy that you have removed the issue of phones. And I pray that even apart from photographs, no one should be allowed with phones. No one should be allowed with phones in the voting hall. That's an issue. Voters should not, should not, should not be grouped in tens to vote. Each voter should vote at his own particular hour, Your Honor. Uh, the last issue is about. Uh... Hello, hello, hello. Madam Chair, can hello. I finish? Finish. My last point. Okay. Okay. My last point is about the issue to do with the. You have said no personal security. Madam Chair, personally, I have my security because of the matter that I do 100 in court. So we, will it be prudent? You, 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 you give us an opportunity to come with our guys, even if it's one security person, for our security, because our security is not, this is election. No one, no one is going to protect me. And you, you are aware, you feel it, Nairobi is a very high volatile place. So I pray that also our security as candidates should be taken care of. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Um, hello? <coughs> Madam, hello? Yes. Are you able to hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. This is David from Etiang from Turkana. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, one question. In the event that a uh, candidate whose numerical letter starts with A comes after or comes late, will he be allowed to 
to God because you are saying you are going to follow the alphabetical order. Now that if B comes before earlier than A, will he be allowed to vote? And then secondly, uh, another question is, in the event that uh, a candidate cannot be able to avail himself in the polling station, is there a way that uh, his vote can be represented by somebody else? Chair, can I? Yes. Very much. My name is. I have a couple of questions to a very clear and elaborate uh, presentation from you and you. How. Uh, Con. Okay, then we can take the other. Um, there's the question about uh, I want to show of the independence of the voting. We have. Um, around intimidation of vote reason telephone do not want have to take also whatever they have so that they can share it with the with the candidates and then so yes uh, um i agree with you we will do all we can to ensure that uh, it is truly secret ballot. Uh, with regard to the booths, um, our greatest concern has been the COVID protocol. And, and we'll see what can be done around that because the booths, one would have to keep on then fumigating and cleaning them up and when, when a voter leaves. And, and so, so that, is, that is the challenge we'd have to face. But uh, the spirit of ensuring that uh, the voter is away from the agents and is free to vote for whoever they want, that we will make sure that uh, we, 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 we make possible. Um, yes, there will be certificates to winners. However, they cannot be handed over at the, uh, you know, once the election winner has been announced at the polling station. Because remember, dispute is period. Somebody may have a dispute, in which case uh, uh, you'd have to then start changing the certificates. But certificates will be uh, provided to the eventual winners who will be declared on the 1st of October 2010. Um, the issue of the security agents, uh, we will have the police. We have the police uh, giving security. And, and so uh, that should take care of, of that. Special badges, yes, we will have lanyards uh, that uh, identify the people who are allowed to be at the polling station. Uh, you bring in a very important point about voters coming in alphabetical order, which has also been raised by the aspirant from Trukana. Uh, and, and yes, it will be first come, first served, three minutes so that we ensure that uh, uh, there is order. There is order. And as far as is possible, it will be in alphabetical order. We are not going to keep people at the polling station for the entire day. That will not happen. And what we will do is in giving three minutes uh, 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 difference, what we are doing is telling ourselves 
different registers have different numbers of people. So we can't just say a certain time. We will multiply three minutes by the number of voters in that particular area and ensure that we have a timeline within which the voting should be completed. And so, yes, uh, people will be allowed to vote as, as they come. And the last person voting, that is taken care of. And so that we have a timeline, that timeline is guided by the number of uh, voters on the register and the three minutes interval per voter. Now, when it comes to the loss of ID, allow us to on that revert. What is critical here, the spirit here is to ensure that the right person is the one voting. We are not going to allow proxies. And, and so the candidate who is not available, I'm sorry, that candidate will lose their vote. There's no representation. That candidate will lose their vote. And yes, uh, um, let's, let's, as far as is possible, personal security, they will not be allowed into the country outside. So, so as far as we are concerned, uh, personal security, we do not want them anywhere near the hall. They are the ones who keep intimidating other, other, other aspirants. Let's, let's, let's be fair to everyone. So if you must come with your personal security, be you know, sure that they won't enter the voting hall with you. Any other questions? Ajaz, Sabir, Abdul Kaka, you can uh, unmute. I can't hear you. Unmute, unmute, unmute yourself. Ian, do you want to ask Abdul Kaka to unmute himself? Mm -hmm. Can't hear you. You have to unmute. Oh. Uh, go ahead. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Uh, how are you, Madam Chair? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, I want one clarification. Uh, as per one of the candidates has said, eh? yes, uh, the certificate uh, should be issued, and you say that the certificate will be issued on first. Yes. Now, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, someone wins with a, with a landslide. And then someone comes uh, and uh, complain. How will you uh, give the certificate to the other person if the uh, if the complaint is not genuine? Because uh, I think when people are counting the votes there, uh, it will be counted by your people who I know they are they are very credible, and uh, it will be announced. Then after announcement, someone comes and uh, give an, a complaint. So how, uh, how can you clarify to me, how will that change my certificate as a winner to not a winner in another, in a, in a, in another place? Um, the, the thing is that we, we just provide for a dispute period. So as long as during the dispute, there is nothing uh, about you, your winning, you will get the certificate. Thank so, you very much. Yeah. yeah. Any other question? Yes, now, now I'm on mute. Okay. Hello, Chair. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Patrick, your board secretary. Yes. Um, I, I've seen that uh, there's quite a number of questions that uh, participants had been asking from the from the beginning, you know, uh, in the chats. Okay. 
So I think it would be also good to address uh, some of those questions that, mm -hmm. uh, that were there from the very beginning. I'm sure some of those questions uh, have been answered as the, as the presentations were, were going along. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the questions that was asked is, uh, will candidate agents be provided with box serial numbers and be able to witness this opening and closing of ballot boxes? That, that will happen. That is, uh, that is part of the assurance that the board is giving you of a free, fair, and transparent election. So we will make sure that the box is open in the presence of your agent. And once the counting is done, the ballots are put back in the box, the box is then sealed and the agents must write down the number of the seal so that if there's a dispute, then we can count. We can count again using, uh, uh, ensuring that nobody has tampered with the, with the box. Uh, another question that I see here Order. that is uh, recurring. Hold on, hold on, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Patrick. Go ahead, Patrick. Let's... Go okay. Ahead. Thank you, thank you, Chair. Uh, another question I see that, uh, that was uh, posted in the chat a lot was about uh, voting times and uh, people coming to the station. So one of the questions is, what if a voter is still not yet available at the polling station when their name has been read out? Will they be given an opportunity to cast in their vote? This was a question from Diona. Um, what we have said is that uh, we are providing for three minutes if a register or a, a, a polling station has 70 uh, voters, please multiply three minutes by 70 voters. How much time is that? It means that it's close to one and a half hours. That is the amount of time that we are giving for that polling station. So in, in two hours, we should be able to close. The thing is this, we don't want to expose the polling agents, the returning officers, and the polling, uh, uh, the presiding officers, we don't want to expose them to COVID. And so we don't want people sitting in the hall for the entire day waiting for one person to come and vote. If the person wants to vote, they had better be there in good time. Thank you, Chair. And uh, one more question from the chat is from uh, Lukman Ahmed. Lukman asks, what if the candidate is also a voting representative of a club? What if a candidate is also a voting representative of a club? Um, that is one vote. You can't vote twice. And so what the candidate is doing is they are actually uh, uh, disenfranchising. Uh, and uh, one more question from the chat is from uh, Begera Jizril. And um, Begera asks, can we please have the names of the presiding officers published in the electoral board website before the elections? And another question from Korn apply to be accredited. So those are two questions. Um, the publishing of uh, the, uh, the um, presiding officers not a problem, that can be done, uh, we will do that. Um, the observers, observers um, can apply, just send, send an email and request to, to be an observer and we will accredit you in good time. Okay, I think we have a good, uh, a good flow here. Uh, yes. Maybe let me just uh, finish up some of the questions from the chat. Um, another question from Lukman is, are former county FKF officials allowed into the polling stations and they are not among the voters? Most, definitely not. So long as they are not accredited, they are not allowed into the polling station. Okay. Uh, Diona asks, how can semi-illiterate voters be helped in order for them to, to exercise their voting rights. I believe uh, you had, uh, you had uh, covered this in the presentation, but for Diona's benefit, 
uh, how can uh, semi-literate voters be assisted? The running officers will be trained. Now remember, voting will not be just a tick. So long as a mark, the mark is in the box, whatever mark it is, that will be acceptable. And so the illiterate voters or semi-literate voters will be helped to ensure that they put their mark where they would like to, to have it. Okay, I think uh, I've covered all the questions in the chat. Is, if there's anyone else uh, who still has a question, um, you, can, uh, you can unmute, I believe, and, and, and ask your question. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Yeah. Any more questions? There's yeah, one question here know. from uh, Michael Senelwa. Michael asks, can you consider sharing the presentation yeah, slides? Okay. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah, this this is Daudi Amase from Turkana. Yes. Uh, aspirant, uh, I want to ask a simple question. Mm -hmm. What if a person is uh, uh, not uh, is an opposed? Yeah. Does if the name? Uh, yeah, is uh, an opposed. Yes. An opposed, uh, an opposed yeah. member. Yeah. Even if you are an opposed, yes. uh, we still have the dispute period. After the dispute period, we will declare you the winner of that presentation. Allowed in a polling station. Uh, if you, uh, what are you coming to do? Unless you're a yes. voter. <laughs> Just to see the election. Yeah. Just to see the election. You are not an observer. Remember, we have said that we don't want candidates in the hall, so yeah. we don't want you there. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay. Okay. Um. Any other questions? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hello. We can hear you. Hello. Yes. Uh, I want to ask, eh? yes. uh, in this scenario where former uh, FAF officials may want to have the voting uh, room, maybe they will be saying they can write to you via email, listing uh, for any observer. So in that case, the person is a former FAF official and uh, he's writing for you as an observer. Can you be able to recognize that? And, uh, Yes, yes, we will accredit observers. And then so, yes, let them. Yeah. Yes. yes, I'm sorry, John, the, the meeting. Uh, what, the first question is who are the who are the people in charge of this election? Is it IBC or is it the election board? Then secondly, are FK officials, let's say, from the national office or from the former branch offices allowed in the polling station? To us, it sounds as an intimidation. Thank you. Okay. Um, the electoral board is in charge of this election. However, we have taken best practices and asked for training from IABC so that we make sure that uh, is done to the highest standards possible. And, and so we have uh, assistance from IABC so far as training is concerned so that uh, we, it can flow uh, appropriately. And like we have said, former FKF officials will have to write to us uh, for accreditation as observers. And in any case, uh, observers will have a place where they are sitting. We will not allow any intimidation from, from anyone. Okay, maybe, maybe that's the last question. Go ahead. Uh, have you listed that? 
I can't hear you, Zabi. You're you're muted. Zabi, you're muted. Maybe join let. Yes, okay. I'm saying maybe join let. Have you posted out the polling stations for Taita Taveta? Maybe. Um, th those should be up by this this afternoon. They should be up by Excellent. this afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Excellent. We seem, we seem to have exhausted the questions. Okay. Um, oh, I see a new question has just come in. Will you have a limit on the number of observers for the smooth flow of the process? Will you have a, a limit to the number of observers? Uh, obviously, we would. We would have a limit because, first of all, the COVID protocols only allow a maximum number of people in one place. And, and so based on that, uh, we will use our discretion to make sure that we don't have uh, too many observers. Thank you. And um, I'm not seeing any more questions uh, coming, coming in. So once again, to, to reiterate from my understanding, and from what the board has deliberated, uh, the opening time for the polls will be at 9 a.m. Just for everyone else, because I see this question coming up a lot. A lot. It will be at 9 a.m. And each voter will be given three minutes. Voting will be done in accordance to your name alphabetically, the alphabetical order of, of the names on the voting register. So every voter gets three minutes and once the last voter has voted, then uh, the counting will, the, the, the polling will stop and the counting will begin. Okay. So that's, that's my understanding from, from, uh, from the questions I see. And I hope it's now clear. It's now clear for everyone. It's been mentioned a number of times, but I see the question keeps, keeps coming up. There's a question that says, what qualifies one to be an observer? That is okay, but what's the official closing time? Is a remote data. We there's a question on now. Uh, Hello, Chairman. I have a question. Yes, go Chair. Ahead. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you. My name is Luther's. There's go one ahead. area that. The one area that we really need clarity on, and uh, uh, your colleague Patrick has mentioned, but he has not come out clear. You are saying that the polling station opening time is nine, it is clear, and it will close as soon as the last uh, voter casts their vote. However, you've not with, 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 uh, with finality said what is the official closing time because you might get a person who is coming at 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 four. Say if there are thirty voters, twenty nine are voting, but there's one who is remaining. He needs to be. I mean, what is the last? What is the closing station closure time? The official polling station closure time. That's what we wanted to know. Uh, the official closing time for voting will be three minutes times the number of voters on that register. So it will be established at the beginning so that uh, we are aware uh, of, 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 because the registers are not the same. Where we have, it's, it's three people, it is it's, it's 30 minutes. And so, so that you. will determine uh, at the beginning. So, 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 so,
Yes. So if in 30 minutes, eight people have voted, yes. then we close. That's it. Yes. So we let up with the polling agents. Yes. Yeah. So we will agree that okay. the closing time for okay. this particular polling station is this time. And, and, and that is it. And we have a guidance, guidance uh, on that yes. link that goes mm -hmm. onto the, the, the hall where people are voting from. Okay. That's well and then, noted. Yeah. And then the, Thank you. the other bit about uh, um, uh, who is voting before the other. As far as is possible, it will be following that alphabetic order. However, it's on a first come, first served basis. So that uh, if Ali Hassan, who should be voting number one, after the opening of the polling station, it doesn't keep everybody waiting. Any other question? Because if there are no questions, uh, I would like to suggest that uh, we think about closing. Zabi, you have a, another question? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, just uh, going by the, there's a couple of more questions that uh, mm -hmm. from the chat that leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, one is on the returning officers. There's a question on who will the returning officers be? So that is one question that uh, that that uh, that is being asked, and another question that is being asked is: uh, Can aspirants bring in non-partisan members into the polling station? Can aspirants bring in non-partisan members into the polling station? So those are two questions that are still in, on in the chat that uh, require clarification. Now, is a non-partisan member? Uh, from from my understanding, it would be someone member. who's not accredited. If, uh, sorry. If, waters. Yeah, if they are not accredited, you are not allowed. So let's not uh, have you know any ideas. If you're not accredited, that's it. Don't appear. If you want okay. a non-partisan member to come across, please apply. Apply for uh, uh, for for observer uh, status. Apply for accreditation. Otherwise, just stay away. Okay. Uh, for and, that uh, one, returning officers, um, please allow us not to officer the security of. So we will not tell you who the returning officers are uh, as part of the election procedure. So to which email address do we send our observer applications? I see that as a question also, and also for agents and observers. To which email address do we send our observer applications? Uh, yeah, send them to info at eb.footballkenya.org. And, and please, um, I hope you see the importance of the polling agents. If we don't have your polling agents by today, uh, just count them done. We won't be accepting polling agents beyond today. Okay. Uh, another question I see here a lot is the polling stations. Uh, where can uh, the aspirants and their voters get to know the polling station in, within the county? Where can they find that information? That information will be on the website, on the electoral board website by end of today. I believe uh, we've uh, exhausted all the questions. Oh, there's one more question. There's one question regarding photos of candidates, photos I, of candidates <laughs> on the ballot, on the ballot paper. I, I deliberately kept quiet on that. We will deliberate on it and, and revert. Um, the reason I was quiet about it is that uh, uh, the, the process of uh, 
um, producing the ballot papers is already underway. And so uh, we were not going to have photographs. And then, so I want to see whether that will be a possibility. Sante. I believe that's it, Chair. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, Zabi has a question. One, one more. Can we take a last question from Zabi? And, and of course, you know that the board is accessible. If you have any other questions beyond this briefing, please feel free to ask them. We will, we will answer them. So, Zabi, Zabi, go ahead. Yes, 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 Chair. It's just a point of correction. I wanted to, you to set some record straight. You said the voting process is three minutes and the number of voters. And you just say that if the first person, as per the alphabetical order, fails to attend, as in fails to reach on time, uh, comes, let's say, don't follow the alphabetical uh, sequence. Kindly clarify. Is okay. it still three minutes and the number of voters, or because the, the point is a, is a bit contradictory? Okay, yeah. What, what we are saying is that. If all the voters come at the same time, it will be in alphabetical order. However, we will vote on a first come, first served basis. One. Two, okay. your register okay. Okay. is arranged according mm -hmm. to, you know, it's arranged in alphabetical order. Okay? So if Ali Hassan, who is the first person on the register, decides to come yes. half an hour, after the voting has started, he will vote when he comes. But whoever is there earlier will be allowed to vote, regardless of whether they are A or not. So the idea of alphabetical order is to give us some, to, to, to ensure that there is some order. That's the idea. Okay. But if somebody is late, we will not frame, wait for them. The time frame. So, so it's, it's like it's open, yeah? It's like it's open like in the whole day. No, no, no. It isn't. We are saying mm -hmm. if there are 10 voters at Nairobi yes. West, then the timing yes. will be 9 to 9.30. So if you come after 9.30, okay. polling, you can vote. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, I want to thank all of you for, for, uh, for coming and thank you for all the questions. And like I've said, the board is very, very accessible. If you have any questions beyond this, please feel free to ask. Uh, we are here for you. Remember, it's about football in Kenya. Uh, it's not about any one of us. It's about football in Kenya. Let's do what we must do to put football on course. And so we thank you and we look forward to serving you on the 19th of September. Asante Nisana.